Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all okay today. Right, today I'm going to start off by looking at the energies surrounding your specific person, the person who's on your mind the most. Okay, I'm going to use this crystal deck today. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Right. The energy that is around this connection that I'm reading on today is a connection where you have connected into somebody who is quite charismatic to a point of almost being manipulative at times, okay? You had your own projects or the, you have things that you wanted to do in your life. I'm going to say it was your, your dreams, okay? Something to do with something you wanted to grow in your life, something you wanted to expand, okay but the person that you're connected into like I said they're quite charismatic <clears throat> quite manipulative I've got but they were always I'm not saying I don't know if they were trying to trash your dreams or they were always causing you to second guess your projects okay like they were trying to funnel you into something that you weren't entirely happy about all right, but I've definitely today with these three crystal cards got an element of somebody who wanted to step or possibly even trash your dreams. I've used that word trash because I have got an energy here with this card that somebody is quite manipulative. All right, so I'm going to see where this goes. I really at the moment, <clears throat> I'm not quite sure um, what is going on here. So <laughs> we'll have a look. Just give these a quick shuffle. That's why I'm doing that. If you'd like a reading, just oh, that one should come out. Just click on the title of the video. It's all in the description box, and also the free relationship report. And if you like this content, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, hitting the bell icon, and like. And that's too many cards. Okay, let's just have one more. Ah, oh, yes. Fox cards come out <clears throat> in um, Lenormand. Yes, gosh. Wow. Okay, yeah, uh, Fox card, if you don't know, Lenormand, it can mean career and stuff, but it's also about being very deceptive and clever. And that's what I was getting off the bat, that someone is a charmer. But manipulative. But what I've really got here today, you know, everyone, is that this person was very manipulative they were very deceptive and they were selfish but they didn't want you to shine in something they didn't want you to be the star literally <clears throat> excuse me of your own show you could have started to do well in something it doesn't have to be massive you know you could have just even got a promotion or you could have started a little side hustle, or you could have thought, oh, you know, I'm good at this, maybe I can turn a hobby into something. But the love energy I'm getting here is that this person, and the person's energy is bang in the middle here, didn't almost, <clears throat> excuse me, want you to be a star in something. They wanted to keep you small. I think this person wanted to keep you small here, okay? And I think they used... <clears throat> Charm interspersed, excuse me, voice is a bit croaky today. Charm interspersed with manipulation. Specifically, this is a message um, for those of you who have this within a career. There could be somebody here who's had somebody who's jealous of their career and the progress that they were making. Like I said, you could have started to get well known in something, okay, or you started to get praise for something. They didn't like it. So I'm going to see what their thoughts and feelings are at the moment. But I, I just feel that this person almost wanted to almost break your dreams down or in a more blunt way, just trash on your dreams. Okay, let's see what the thoughts and feelings are. Um, see why their energies come out in this energy today. Okay, this overall energies come out. I want to see today why, what are they thinking of doing, you know, what else is going on here. Um, yeah, okay, someone was chasing somebody here, okay, I feel if it was you, you've had enough of chasing somebody, you've had enough, 
you actually now are very hopeful about something else in your own life, okay? Um, <clears throat> this person also, by trashing on your dreams, I'm going to say that they try to tarnish your reputation, okay? I feel there could have been two reasons for this. A, they didn't want to take the blame here because they are manipulative. And B, tarnishing somebody's reputation is to do as well today with them not wanting you to succeed. Something they're almost jealous of. Okay, they've been reflecting on your connection. Okay. Yeah, they have been reflecting on your connection. I'm not sure yet until I go deeper into this. Um, bottom of the deck, I don't want to run anymore. So that's both of the cars, chase and runner. You could have been, today, it does speak of a, you know, twin flame relationship or at the other axis, it can be a, you know, slightly toxic relationship where one person runs, the other person chases, and then sometimes the roles reverse and the cycle just goes round and round, which is... Um, quite exhausting but they feel that you've made them realize their flaws okay I think that the line that this is clarifying in is telling me that they are almost real that what they're realizing about their flaws is that they were deceptive mm. they were selfish okay they did shatter some of your dreams all right and they did not give you the support to expand. I feel that, that there was a lot of people relying on you and you weren't getting the support, especially in your career. You weren't getting the support that you needed, but someone was expecting you to give them the support, okay? This person's energy is coming out today to say that they've realized this, okay, that they've got clarity on this I think they know that they were they were cold you know they were almost like a stone very very cold very very unemotional at times okay very unemotional like they were quite a hard start saying quite a hard nut to crack couldn't get into this person. They were charming, but everything seemed with this it's quite a superficial, a superficial level. They kept a lot in. Okay. It's almost as if I feel your person for some reason couldn't commit any deeper than on a superficial level which was okay to start with, but then when things needed doing, the usual sayings, you know, things need assessing, things need working out, you realised then that you'd only just scratched the surface, I'm going to say, of this person's personality. All right, so I'm going to go a bit deeper um, and see if their feelings are genuine. Let's see what's going on around them at the moment. What's going on around them? Yes, the past, they couldn't handle your love. Now, for me, there's two ways of, of reading this today. They couldn't handle it because they have commitment issues or they couldn't handle it because you spoke the truth, because you saw through them, you scratched off the surface with them. Okay, and the deeper you went into this person, the more you realised that they were actually, you know, that peeing on your bonfire kind of expression, they were putting you down. Uh, the superficial sort of persona they were giving off was totally false, okay? They couldn't handle your love. I'll get my tarot deck out. Yeah, they'd like to say I'm better with my mind than my heart, which is going down the line of this overall energy where they are. They're cold. Okay? They're cold. 
it's almost like an energy of somebody who doesn't want to share their toys but it's more than that it's as if you get a better toy than them and they're very jealous of it even though you've worked very hard for it or you could have just been lucky but they were never happy they were never happy to celebrate your achievements or your wins in life okay they were never happy to do that you know this they wanted you to celebrate their wins and their um yeah, their goals and the things that they achieved, but they weren't happy to celebrate yours. In fact, I feel they put you down. And say these wins didn't have to be big. I'll just give you an example. Going back to the hobby, you could have just had a hobby that you were good at, and you thought, oh, you know, I'll, I'll maybe I can start doing this a little bit commercially or something. And this person, they put you down. You know, they didn't. They, did, they weren't fighting in your corner, okay? Very, very logically. <clears throat> I've got a very cold, logical person here. Yeah, you make me realise my flaws, but they can't make a decision, okay? Because they are still in an energy of sneaking around with the fox, okay? And they are still being selfish and they are still being deceptive. So what do they want? I wish to be like you. That's interesting at the bottom of the deck because reading into this energy today, it could be a narcissistic energy here because it is an energy of somebody who will come into your life and they actually see you they want to be like you, okay? Whatever you've got, like I say, you don't have to be, you know, famous or rich or anything, but you have a certain aura about you, okay? So what they've done, I feel, is possibly, you know, very superficially charmed you, etc. you know, laid it on thick, love bombed, all of that. But then bit by bit, they've worn you down, Okay, it's almost like they've sucked you dry. Okay, and the premise of this is they want to be like you. So basically, it's like they're empty inside. Okay, they don't, they probably have very low self esteem, insecurity issues, jealousy issues. You know, there can be a whole raft of things. And yeah, you know, that is sad, but as I always say, you know, you, you can lead a horse to water and you're not. It is not your job to heal somebody else. It's your job to have compassion and to help them, but not at the behest of your own well-being. Okay, that isn't healthy. That isn't fair. And I, I do feel that is what's gone on here. Okay, they wanted to be like you. Jealous of you. And the problem is when you get this energy and people are that jealous of you, unfortunately... <laughs> Well, what happens is they they will try and put you down and take control of your dreams so they can feel good about themselves because they have no self-esteem okay but again you know and I'm, I'm not sounding I hope I don't sound blunt here but the problem with this kind of energy, I mean, it might not be your reading, but if it is, the problem sometimes with this kind of energy is that you end up losing your dreams, your dreams are trashed on, and then it, you're kind of sucked dry, and then they move on, and they move on because they don't have the compassion <laughs> and the love that you have, so... I quite often get asked this question, how come they can just move on? Because the love and the stuff at the beginning was really only a persona they were using. Okay? This reading won't be for everybody, so don't shoot the messenger. This is, I often say this, but I do daily reads, it is specific. This is somebody, and it was a persona. Okay? It was a persona. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to see what 
what they want to do, are they going to come back in, and what's going on for you as well at the moment, okay? The thing is, they're in the energy, okay? So the message is, to, is coming out today for a reason. Let's just see their environment, please. I want this person's environment, whoever this reading is for today. I want their environment, please. Yeah, you're in their thoughts, okay? You are in their thoughts. They are reflecting. Hmm. Okay, I will just throw in today because I've got a double mail card. This reading is specifically for those of you who are dealing with an ex or a specific person who is male. Okay, it doesn't matter relationship types, relevant, but the person is male. Okay, so this person you're connected into at the moment is bored. They are not finding the situation they're in very uh, comfortable. Basically, they are at a place, whatever they're doing, where their life is quite laborious. So their job could be boring or their relationship's boring. But basically, their energy is coming out as somebody who gets up every day and has to do what they have to do with no passion, no excitement, and no fun. They, with their work, they could be in a position now where they have had to take a job that they don't like, or they're having to do something to pay the bills that they don't enjoy. I feel that they feel that the work they're doing now, and also the position they've got themselves in their life at the moment is below them. Okay, I feel it's below them. They, I feel that they feel it's below their status, okay, or their perceived status. Because I think this person has quite a high opinion of themselves, okay. I think almost grandiose sort of opinions of their skills and abilities. That's what they project out. I feel when you met them, that's what they projected. Um, examples for you, oh yeah, I'm good at this, i am got this business, I'm this, um, okay, that's what they project out. But inside the shell of them, I don't actually feel that they can uh, cut the mustard, they're not cutting it, okay. And this again is one of the major reasons I feel like they wanted to suck your dreams out of you, trash your dreams, whatever it was you were trying to do, trying to achieve, they didn't want you to be successful because I think all the time this person knew they were lying about their skills. I mean, this is the energy of somebody who can even have another relationship that they haven't ended or that they've got, you know, a family they didn't tell anybody about. It, it really is that kind of bullshitting, okay? And I feel they targeted your energy because you actually were more confident, even if you were just quietly confident, okay? And sometimes when these relationships sort of end, it leaves the person that's been sucked dry and their dream's gone to rat shit, like in a real mess. But I'll tell you now, you're always targeted because you are confident and you are capable, okay? You know, that's why you are targeted because you had something amazing about you, okay? Kindness, loyalty, genuine, um, that they didn't have, okay? It was just all a veneer. It was just all a veneer. But going back to what they're doing, they're not happy because it's just toil. It's, it's drudge. They feel I get today, you know, this person feels they are above the drudgery, okay, that they are better than that, all right, but that's where they're at at the moment, that I feel is why they are in the energy, let's get two more of these cards, for sure.
Yeah. This person thinks a lot about the bright, shiny object. I think they spend a lot of time working out how they're going to get to the next thing that's going to make them more money or give them what they believe they are entitled to. Okay, but at the moment, however, they are finding it very tiresome, very problematic and very overwhelming with a person in their environment who has more authority over them. This person could be someone actual in authority, a government official, um, lawmakers, solicitors, okay, but they are having problems with this at the moment. They are trying to work out in their energy how to get out of this. Yeah, they're trying to work out how to get out of this drudge, right? and get back to the fortune, whatever that is for them, that they feel they deserve. Okay? Hmm. Let's see what the thoughts and feelings are towards you at the moment. I'm going to do in this reading today, I'm going to do what they're projecting out to other people about your relationship etc but then what they're really feeling deep down and then i'm going to have a look at the outcome and see what they're planning to do because they're not happy okay they are reflecting on what they've done to you but i just want to see if um they're actually being genuine they're being genuine today whoever this person is somebody higher up than them though you know they could be having problems with a boss, with their work, okay? They could have been demoted, but they're having problems with somebody who has more power over them. Right. What are they projecting out, please? Wow. Right, well, they're projecting out five of cups reversed to me that they're over it, that they've got over it, okay? That they're not upset, that they are quite happy with the situation that they're in at the moment so they're not admitting this to anybody okay they're just like I said they're just projecting out that um life's going on as normal and they're fine etc etc let's see how they really feel let's see how they really feel combined with the outcome and then I'll be able to tell which way this is really going to go okay Oh, yes, there we go. Interesting. The stars is out in the Lenormand. That's how they really feel, the star card. <clears throat> they miss you. Okay, they miss you. Could be an Aquarian. I've got Aquarius and I've got... Oh, Scorpio. So far, five cups. I'm sure five cups is Scorpio. Yeah, they miss you. Okay, they're dreaming about you. They're still hopeful that there could be some sort of reconciliation between you. Okay. They see you. You know, the star is to me a soulmate card. This is how they're feeling about you. They are still hopeful that they would have a chance with you. Okay. Are they being genuine about this though because of all the mess that they've got going on in their lives? I'll just have one more please. Mm. They are slightly in victim mode. Okay. Yeah, they are slightly in victim mode. Alright, they're projecting out to the world that they're fine, they've got over it, everything's hunky-dory, etc, etc. But I feel that they are slightly still in victim mode, that this is somebody who doesn't want to help themselves, they expect everybody else to do it for them, okay? But their deepest, deepest feelings for you is they do miss you. They feel the distance between you and they think about you a lot, okay? but they are still playing the victim. Right, let's see what the outcome is, please. 
Let's see what the outcome is, please. We've got Pisces as well, Piscean energy. Outcome, please. What's the best possible outcome for this at the moment? Oh, well, <coughs> Ace of Swords. No. Five of Pentacles is the unknown. Okay. I think the unknown is that there is an element that this person could come in with financial problems, you know, just as a blunt thing, okay, that they won't be in a very good place financially, that they could come back in to try and charm you, etc. Going back to the trashing on your dreams again, I do feel today, and I'm going to say it, that you would end up having your dreams and your wishes and your desires completely suffocated again. Okay, the Eight of Swords in the outcome, this is what the outcome is. Okay, it, you know, with regards to them coming back in at the moment, I don't really f see that because I see that they are restricted. It's a very simple way of looking at it, they are restricted. They have a lot of anxiety, they could be frightened of gossip, they're feeling very trapped where they are. Reading that just going into your energy, that just means that that is how this person coming back in or this relationship could end up for you further down the line. That you would be feeling very much in your head, anxiety, not being able to see the wood for the trees. And in a nutshell, this card can just mean control. So linking back into this energy of somebody wanting to almost put you down and deflect your dreams. This is, I feel, what would come come in further down the line that you would be back in a position where you felt restricted and controlled okay i'm going to get some advice for you before we wrap this up just grab this yeah you've got heightened intuition you're being asked to Pay attention to your intuition, okay? Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy, all right? I always say this, if it's just that little flash, just for three or four seconds, and we all do it, and then we try and push it aside. Listen to your intuition on this. Yeah, also listen to your emotions on this. I think you will be sent clear signals with this person. Okay, this card's all about your feelings are sending you important messages and guidance. This energy to me does speak very specifically of the feeling you get when you almost think about this person. Does it make you feel nervous or just a little bit or, or a little bit anxious or does it make you feel full, whole and complete? You are being asked to listen to your higher self on this. Because tarot is a forecast, okay? Any energy can be changed. What you think about, you will project out into your 3D, okay? But this person's energy that you're connected into, they are going to, eventually, I think they would end up trying to restrict you again in some shape or form, okay? One more. Yeah, divine intervention. Okay, you know, you are being sent miracles in some shape or form. It might only be small gains. A miracle doesn't have to be, you know, a great life changing thing. It could just be you meet up with an old friend who knows somebody who can help you with something. But you are divinely protected. But listen to your higher self. Okay, listen to it. So. That's the message today. Going back to your dreams, I think they would be restricted. And yeah, I think this person probably would trash on them again because they, they feel slightly empty inside and they don't seem to be able to do it without you. They need you to be them, okay? But they suck everything you've got to do that. So, whoa. Take good care, remember your boundaries. Your reading today, remember how valuable you are, you're amazing, you're perfect, you are good enough, okay? And you, you exist just because you're amazing, and that's it, all right? I love you all, sending you 
so much love. Take good care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.